Then the man brought me to the gate facing east, and I saw the glory of the God of Israel coming from the east. His voice was like the roar of rushing waters, and the land was radiant with his glory. The vision I saw was like the vision I had seen when he came to destroy the city, and like the visions I had seen by the Kibar River, and I fell face down. The glory of the Lord entered the temple through the gate facing east. Then the Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court, and the glory of the Lord filled the temple. While the man was standing beside me, I heard someone speaking to me from inside the temple. He said, Son of man, this is the place of my throne, and the place for the soles of my feet. This is where I will live among the Israelites forever. My dear friends, today let us reflect on the readings. The first reading is taken from Prophet Ezekiel chapter 43 verses 1 to 7 and the Gospel of Matthew chapter 23 verses 1 to 12. Prophet Ezekiel promised that God would restore the people to their homeland and to their temple. He uses the image of the flowing water as a sign of God's gift of life. The people were to look to God and his gift of life as a source of their continual existence. And in the gospel we find Jesus was upset with those leaders who abused their God-given authority by not practicing what they preached and by imposing impossible religious requirements on the people. Yes, my dear friends, Jesus objects an attitude which denies that God is the father of us all, the giver of life. Let us join Jesus in the offering of his life to the father in perfection and to profess that all life comes from God and all life is for him alone. Giver of life